Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to or welcome back to the channel. Basement is here. And uh, in today's video, we have a different type of video that we're going to do. We are going to make our own custom battery. So, what I have here is these are 20 amp hour LTO prismatic cells. I have 12 of them. And uh, they're hooked 6 in series and uh, one or 2 parallel. So, basically... This is like a battery pack, and then this is a battery pack. I taped them together, and I'm gonna be very careful, because these get short. Be very careful, put something between these, connect them together, and then put, put them to these posts. And uh, yeah, I have my BMS right here. This is the same one I used on my other battery. Uh, this is gonna be like an upgrade, and uh, hopefully it'll be a lot better. I've heard a lot of things about these LTO, 20 amp hour prismatic cells and uh, I can't wait to get them get them ready so uh, this video is going to be about the journey of making this battery and uh, if you are interested you can uh, copy along or follow along and uh, learn what I learned uh, this video is kind of I kind of got this idea from uh, Parker he uh, he made his own custom lithium battery as well it's not an LTO battery but it was very informative and uh, I want to do the same thing. So, uh, hope you enjoy. Hey guys, if you want to help the channel out, the affiliate links will be down in the description for Redota Power, Power Queen, Slops Audio, Sir Juan Vega, and Big Jeff Audio. Go down in the description and you can go look at the code uh, for 5% off on your order. All right, back to video. All right guys, so the reason why I went with LTO batteries it are because of its car audio uh, performance because these batteries can do very 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 well in car audio it can discharge a very high C rating and uh, it can also recharge very quickly um, if you want to know how to make one of these banks there's a there's a couple videos on YouTube that even I've watched I'll, I'll leave a couple links down in the description if you're um, if you're interested go check those channels out uh, it really helped me when doing this and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get into this. Let's do it. Something to note is that these batteries are super affordable to make compared to the uh, the popular brands out there like Excess Power. So Excess Power LTO batteries are going to be like their Titan series. I think it's a 10 amp hour battery. I think it retails for about $500. And uh, I don't know how many prismatic cells are in that battery if I had to assume I would guess there's only six 10 amp hour cells so these are going to be 20 amp hour cells and I have 12 and this whole thing keep in mind this was this was back in January this was before the tariffs hit so maybe something has changed since then from uh, China but I bought these batteries for $180 these cells in total was $180. I got the uh, bus bars from the from the uh, manufacturer as well, and uh, yeah, th it's a great deal, honestly. So that is another thing that you can uh, that you can look forward to when making your own batteries is how affordable it is. This whole thing, plus with the uh, the box right here, zero gauge wire, it's about it probably comes out to be about $300. I paid, I think I paid like 270 for the whole thing, but keep in mind things have changed in price and uh, you got to keep that in consideration. And I have this BMS already, so that's another $30. So I, I'd say give or take $300 and uh, this thing can pull a lot of amps. So let's get into it. I, I'm, I'm going to finish this battery up. I've already put it together. Uh, it was kind of a boring process, didn't want you to look at that but here I'll, I'll kind of explain it so basically what I did first is instead of making these uh, two like the two parallel at first so it would be positive positive negative negative I didn't have the bus bars to do that and I didn't want to pay for them so uh, these are from the factory and uh, what I had to do was had to do two separate banks and what I'll do is connect the negative negative positive positive and go to each of the terminals in the box and uh that'll be very very it should be very simple um i also got to be very very careful when uh 
hooking them up because it can short circuit. These batteries are meant to be the safest on the market, the LTO batteries. So, uh, but uh, keep in mind I'm outside when I'm doing this because there could be a potential fire and uh, I do not want that to happen. And I also have a fire extinguisher close by if I need it. So uh, safety is priority when it comes to working with batteries. And uh, yeah, so also the BMS only has six. I need to connect all of them. So what I'm gonna do is uh, hook up another like, there's gonna be 12 wires in total. But if you see here, it's B negative, B1, B2, B3, B4, and B5. So let me explain that real quick. So B negative. So keep in mind, this is like a separate bank right here. There's six of us, one, two, three, four, five, six. Just look at this. So B negative is gonna be this negative. B1 is gonna be the one up top. Then the one down below is B2, B3, B4, B5, and then B6 is going to be the positive. I got to connect all of these to the other battery as well, which should not be hard. And uh, so they're actually, you know what? Maybe I don't even need to do that. I'm going to do it anyway, but since they're going to be connected, I may not need to do it, but the, to keep it safe, I will do it. Um, and uh, let's get into this actually. All right, guys, it's been about 40 minutes since the last clip. This is what I have so far. I've decided to cut between the the two battery packs. So one battery pack, two battery pack, and put styrofoam in between. So I have enough of a space to do all my wiring. Uh, if you look at this wiring monstrosity, this is going to be the BMS wiring. Uh, there's gonna be, each one's gonna be connected except for the negative and positive on each one, waiting for the zero gauge. Um, to go on there first and then I'm gonna put that up last and I also have thread locker and I'm gonna also put thread lock on these so it doesn't slip or anything because that will be very very disappointing and uh because it could cause a fire if my zero gauge slips so I'm gonna make sure that these things are all tight and uh yeah put it in the box right here put styrofoam in the at the bottom to have some extra padding probably put more styrofoam on the sides and then on top and uh yeah let's see let's finish this all right sorry guys my gopro died so i'm gonna have to film this on my ip on my iphone so here is the final product it took me about two and a half hours to make as you can see there's a lot of wiring and everything is hooked up the way it should be i got some foam on the sides so it doesn't move anything doesn't go anywhere and uh, yeah, this pad, all you have to do is push this down. And I'm probably gonna zip tie it down, either that or tape it. I'd rather zip tie it down with a big pair of zip ties. So uh, uh, I can, if I ever need to get back in this battery, all I have to do is snip the, snip tie, uh, the zip tie and then access the battery that way. But uh, this is a 14 volt battery. All right guys, got the positive and positive, negative and negative. You're reading 14.4 volts. And uh, I will 100% charge this more if it needs an extra boost of charging. My uh, BMS is activated in the back. The light is on. And yeah, if, uh, if you like this style of content and want to see more batteries like this, let me know in the description or the uh, comments down below. And uh, without further ado, let me get a zip tie around this so I can do my outro. All right, guys, I just decided to wrap it with electrical tape. Uh, a lot of times and uh yeah dude like this thing is awesome it's a 14 volt battery how much i'm gonna top it off here in a second when i get done with filming but uh yeah if you want to see it in the car next video let me know in the comments down below but without further ado thank you guys for watching and uh if you like this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one peace guys on my own, I've been on my own Other devil trying to hit my phone